Anyways, fellas, how y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. I know it's a Monday. Trust me, we got this, all right? If you're bored, I got you. I got something we could be doing. What's one thing in Destiny 2 that can be a little bit annoying to come across? Well, of course, apart from the mods that you need from A to 1, and enhancement cores, enhancement prisms, ascendant shards, and ascendant alloys, I'm referring to Bright Dust. Aha, yes, yes, yeah. As we all know, we use our very special treasured Bright Dust currency to shop from the Eververse store without having to actually spend real life money. Because fuck that. Because we all know the true, truest form of endgame in this game is your drip, son. If you're not cosmetically up there in the game, you're really not even playing Destiny, am I right? So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how you can go and actually farm up some Bright Dust for a limited time. And no, I'm not referring to, oh, do those seasonal challenges with Bright Dust. You know, you get the Bright Dust and the seasonal challenges. I'm not referring to that, okay? <laughs> in all honesty, what I'm actually referring to is this handy dandy tree that I'm standing on in this event that comes with the tree. Obviously, we were talking about Festival of the Lost or Festival of the Bugs this season. Real quick, I do want to hit him with a nice swag YOLO epic mystery. Okay, that was completely wasted. But what I'm really talking about is these uh, repeatable bounties. As you can see, you do get bright dust from these repeatables. You also do get some from the weeklies, but you know, weekly bounties you can only do once a week per character, so you can't really farm them. Whereas the daily bounties do not the daily bounties do not give you any bright dust but these repeatables and weeklies do as you guys know you're able to hold up to five repeatable bounties from that one vendor at a time and these repeatables are very very easy right we got defeat combatants in groups of three or more in Hana law sectors energy weapons okay grenade kills kinetic weapons like it's very easy void kills so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hop into the haunted lost sector i'm gonna complete all these hoes i'm gonna turn the bitches in in one go okay so after going ahead and doing just like one haunted lost sector bro i mean these are easy best bounties we're just gonna go ahead and turn these bad boys in it's gonna be 10 right dust per bounty for a total of 50 per run right and then now all we do is just go right back to eva top five more run it right back once again dude they're real easy easy bounties nothing too difficult in the slightest at all i'm gonna go ahead and complete these run it right back all right once again literally just after one haunted lost sector complete all five of them turn them all in bam you get 50 bright dust in the stack 10 per bounty you can hold a total of five at a time and then you would just come right back to Ava, go ahead, pick up another stack of five, and you would just rinse and repeat that bad boy. Now keep in mind, you don't have to pick up the daily ones because the dailies don't give you any actual bright dust. Obviously, the weeklies do, but those, you know, you can only do once a week per character. These, you can literally just keep running that bitch back over, 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 over. As it only costs Glimmer to buy these additional bounties anyways. And as we all know, Glimmer is about as free as it gets in this game. With, of course, the material exchange from Rahul, which is literally right next to Ava in the tower, which is, you know, pretty convenient. I'm going to be making use of this while I still can because as we all know, bright dust can be a little bit annoying to come by as you generally can only get it from seasonal challenges and that is you know at a cap per season that you can actually get but with some of these events that roll around throughout the year we're able to get a little bit lucky right use this time during festival of the lost farm up some bright dust and subscribe for more content